as more and more companies in the enterprise range decide to use tape or linear tape open format for storing backups, it could be for different reasons such as air gapping or simply just long-term storage. However, as time goes, maybe you need to verify these tapes to really guarantee that the data on the tapes can be read. This could be for compliance reasons or simply just because you want to make sure that your data is in fact recurrable. Let me show you in the labs how to achieve this. In the lab, I've already created a backup to tape job. And to actually go and confirm this, we go down to tape infrastructure. We have our tape infrastructure here. We see the different media pools. I created one media pool here for full backups. And we can select one single tape. But in the event that you had multiples, you could actually select multiple tapes, or you could use something like Control A to select all of them. Why would you want to select multiple tapes? Well, because in this example here, my backup is spanning just one tape. But when Veeam is writing the backup files to tape, there can be situations where a file does not fit onto one single tape. In that case, it will be divided into parts and written to several tapes, which are then basically considered dependent. However, when you select one single tape, Veeam will only check the data on that one tape, not on any dependent tapes, unless you also select those uh, dependent tapes. Now, before I kick this off, I just want to remind you, if you go to the main menu up here and go to general options and go to email settings, you can see this example here, I did not specify any email notifications, which means I'll also not be receiving any email reports. So don't forget to set this up if you want to have email reports. Now to actually do the verification, there's just one more bit I want to remind you. These tapes are already decrypted, but if they were loaded in with data that's encrypted by Veeam and it's a new backup server, well then Veeam would not have the password to go and decrypt these. You can see there's a specified password button up here. You would essentially go and select the tapes and use the specified password button to make sure that they are all decrypted. Now Veeam would be able to go and test them. So how do we actually test these backups? We'll essentially select one or more of these drives, and then you can either right click and select verify, or you could use on the tape media ribbon up here, simply the verify button. We see this launches the tape verification window. We can see the amount of data here, two objects to be tested. Uh, and it was actually very quickly done because in this example here, I only had a very low volume of data to test. But that's the way it runs, very, very easy. I hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.